Hello, I am Dalton Biggers, and I'll be talking about tofu and hot and sour soup. So we'll be learning a lot about tofu and hot and sour soup. However, we're going to start with history and culture. So some historical and contemporary issues I found was that tofu is said to originate between 179 to 122 BC. It's almost 2,000 years ago. It is said that it was accidentally made in an attempt to make an elixir of immortality. Now, where the soup was originated is greatly argued as well. China dominates these claims, but several different provinces claim it as their own. They're willing to argue over it quite a bit. They say northern China near Beijing owns hot and sour soup, but both Hunan and Sichuan provinces claim it as theirs. Hot and sour soup dates back to 481 and 403 BC, putting it over, 22, over 220 years in between the invention of tofu and hot and sour soup. Now, this is inconsistent because if you look at ingredients and the origination of hot and sour soup, it has always contained tofu, but the years don't match. So this is inconsistent and therefore a historical issue. Some political issues I found is that Chinese history of tofu points to the power and intelligence of China. And if you look up the history of tofu, they will say that it's all theirs and they came up with it solely on their own. Realistically, more than likely, they stole the techniques used on dairy products by the Mongols and used them with soy milk. So they kind of copied the Mongols. Another political issue is the fact that these two provinces in China still argue over who created hot and sour soup after over 2000 years. So some religious things I found is that it is said that Prince Liu and creator of tofu grew wings and evaded death and people still worship him and believe this story. Hot and sour soup has been consumed by Jews in China for over the last 1300 years during their Shabbat dinner. I find this interesting because a very large ingredient in hot and sour soup is pork. However, they swap pork with veal. Some ethnic and cultural issues I found was that tofu dates back to, or interesting facts I found, is that tofu dates back to the Han Dynasty in China. I also found that Chinese hot and sour soup translates to hula tang or pepper hot soup. Pepper hot soup can be found in the following countries history books, United States, China, Japan, India, Pakistan, Cambodia, Thailand, Philippines, and Vietnam, all with their own different ingredients for hot and sour soup. Some family and cultural issues I found is that soy may increase the chances of breast cancer. Now you may know soy, is the main ingredient in tofu. Soy drastically reduces testosterone in men as well. So tofu is the most consumed product in China and that's why this is an issue and it could affect future generations. So the nutrition, nutrient composition of 100 gram serving of tofu is as follows, 140 calories, nine grams of fat, three carbs, 17 grams of protein, two grams of fiber, and high amounts of vitamins, including calcium and manganese. So relationship to diseases I found is that the Department of Nutrition analyzed over 200,000 participants and found that those who consume tofu more than once weekly lower their chances of getting heart disease by 18%. This is really interesting and it seems that tofu might actually be healthy for you. So some of the ingredients in tofu is soybeans. After that is more soybeans. So it's made from dry soybeans and soy milk. Um, and it's very similar to cheese, prepared in the same way as cheese. You can tell if you have good tofu by if it's springy and it should be. So since tofu is made from soybean, let's talk about a little bit about their agriculture. So the harvesting of soybean runs from September to November. However, it is available year round and highly consumed all around the world. It's very interesting that I found that 95% of the 280,000 soybean producers in America use sustainability practices. This means that we can continue to produce soybeans for the next thousands of years if we continue this high percentage of people using this, these practices. So how do you make to tofu? So the two ingredients you need is two quarts of soy milk, two teaspoons of terra alba. And this is also known as gypsum or calcium sulfate. So with these two ingredients, you can make your own homemade tofu. I'm gonna tell you how. So you'll start with boiling the soy milk for five minutes and then letting it cool. If you're making soy milk using a soy milk maker, 
there is no need to boil the milk again. So then you dissolve the terra alba into a cup of warm water, but you don't let it sit too long. Then you mix the water and terra alba mixture into the hot soy milk. Gently stir the milk, but do not overmix. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. So after you do this, you'll transfer the curds into a molding container lined with cheesecloth or a similar fabric. These curds will come after letting it sit for 15 to 25 minutes. So if you don't plan to consume the tofu the same day that you make it, you can store it in a container. So tasting tofu. I never thought that I would like tofu, but after tasting it in hot and sour soup, it's really not that bad. There's not much taste, but it does have a unique texture. It's kind of like eating the thick part of non-homogenized milk. I don't know if you've ever had non-homogenized milk, but there's like a thick, probably like an inch thick of cheese-like substance at the top of the milk. I also found that some people will put tofu on their barbecue pizza. So I tried my hot and sour soup from P.F. Chang's and I ate bowl after bowl since you can have unlimited amounts of it. So a cultural comparison, growing up with my family, I always ate at this hole in the wall restaurant called China Cottage. It was always really good, but I never ate hot and sour soup. In fact, all I ever had was like shrimp on me. My parents would devour their soups and offer me some. I never thought that it was worth it because I never thought I would like hot and sour mixed into one serving in one item. So it was not until this year that I tried it and really loved it. And like I said, I ate bowl after bowl of P.F. Chang's. The tofu mixed in the hot sour soup is not my favorite. However, it's certainly tasty. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. These are my references.